Welcome to Not A Guru. I'm Kelsey. I'm not a beauty guru. I mean, Jesus Christ. Take a look at me. This is just what I look like. This week, I'm gonna be testing out the quickest way to blow dry hair. Now, I got really, really thick, kind of wavy hair, and if I don't blow dry it as soon as I get out of the shower, it can stay wet to up to 48 hours. Mold? Who knows? Let's see what's the quickest method to blow drying hair. Not a guru! <laughs> For the next five days, I am going to wash and brush my hair the same way. I'm just going to use different drying tools to dry it. Am I using the same towel all five days? Yes, I am not a guru. First, I want to start with this contraption I got off of Amazon. It ranges between $10 to $20. So let me explain my thinking behind this before you make fun of me. I hate blow drying my hair so much that I actively avoid the gym because I would rather have my hair styled and dried cutely for three days than be in healthy shape. And I figured if I got this hair dryer attachment that's supposed to simulate like the self dryer that you see at a salon, it would be like someone else was doing it for me. And I could do my makeup while somebody else blow dries my hair. Two birds, one stone. So I'm going to test my theory out. Can I do my everyday makeup routine, which takes about 15 minutes every morning while wearing this bonnet and have great hair to walk out of here along with my great makeup job? Let's find out. When a stylist at the hair salon is blow drying one spot for too long and you're too pussy to say anything, so you're just kind of like, ah, I hope she moves it soon. That's this, but in over your entire fing head. Okay, 16 minutes I've had this thing on my fing head. Uh, I will be shocked if I don't have third degree burns. Oh no, oh no, oh no, honey. Well, fuck. So I guess bending my hair up into the dryer was a bad idea because I got this backwards curl. I would say my hair is about 75% dry. I also couldn't really do my makeup because of the chin strap and now I've got this weird curl that I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with. Yeah, this is gonna be a big no from me, dog. Conclusion, on a scale of one to five Beyonce's, no Beyonce's, zero out of five. This shit burned my head and ears and didn't even dry my hair after 20 minutes. Now for the Dyson Airwrap, it says that you should dry your hair half, whoa my goodness. Now for the Dyson Airwrap, it says you should dry your hair about halfway so that it can dry it better. I don't know, but like I said, I'm not a guru. Here's the thing about the Dyson Airwrap. It's $550 and it's pretty much always sold out. I've never actually seen someone with this. I only just see it online, except for my friend Mallory. She let me borrow hers for the night. Literally, I have to like go take this back to her tomorrow so that she can like do her hair. At the price of $550, this shit better give me a happy ending because what the hell? Who can justify spending that much on a hair dryer? If this product can curl my hair the way that it normally takes for me to blow dry and then curl it, I think it might be worth the 550 price tag. Fourteen minutes and twenty seconds. The back of my hair is still completely wet. Also, I don't think like the curls really match. I wouldn't even really call these curls. I would say they're like voluminous sections that have wave to them. But like stuff like this, like that's totally straight. I've given myself fucking Farrah Fawcett hair. So the other thing is, is now I've blow drying myself into this like little house on the prairie, fucking 
art school teacher who just came out of the closet for the first time look and like that's heat. I would have to put more heat on it to change it. What is that, cum? Who knows? I don't think it's worth $550. The more I look at it, the less I like it. Ugh. I don't know how we can put a man on the moon, but we haven't revolutionized this kind of product yet. Two out of five Beyonce's because of the price and a hard to maneuver design. The Revlon One Step Hair Dryer comes in at $30. You can also get a flat brush version for $40 at Ulta. Final time, seven minutes, 32 seconds. My conclusion, four to five Beyonce's. I loved this. It has replaced my regular blow dryer. Minus one because the size and inability to curl. Now we're gonna try the same Revlon dryer, but with this hair drying spray. The Orbe, Orbe, don't know how to say that, but it's supposed to cut drying time in half. There goes $40 in the wind. <laughs> The five-star reviews are off the charts anywhere you look, so I guess I had to give it a go. Five thirty. In conclusion, God damn it, it worked. Five out of five Beyonce's. It looked and felt silky soft and the shape and style maintained for many, many days, to be honest, almost a week because I don't wash my hair ever because it takes too long to dry. And now I don't have an excuse. Ugh, not a guru. The You're So Hot Mini Bellamy Blow Dryer. I'm not biased, even though this company did take me out on a yacht this summer. This baby packs a punch. Six fifty one. Not a guru. <laughs> Conclusion, four out of five Beyonce's. It's a dryer and it works fast and good. Five out of five Beyonce's and my winner of this episode of Not A Guru. I cannot believe I spent $70 on a hairspray. Am I fucking high? But I do love beauty. Not a guru. <laughs> Look, I know this lightweight blowout spray claims to dry. Fucking fuck my mouth. Minus one because of the size. Fuck. <laughs>